Well folks, we're here again in beautiful, beautiful Sulmona. And have I got a place for you today. Just wait while you see this, what can I say? Luxury, luxury penthouse. Let's leave it at that. So for those of you that uh, follow this channel, you'll know that we come to Sulmona quite a lot and I am happy to say that it's probably one of my, if not the favourite place here in Abruzzo. This is the main, the main street. I have decorations up for some of the medieval games that they're going to be doing and we are going to see a superb property so just so you know this is the the main piazza piazza garibaldi and the property we're going to see actually overlooks this uh, overlooks this piazza this really is a fantastic one okay so let me show you where it is Two minutes walk from the main piazza and the area we're interested in or where we're going is just to the bottom of this road on the left so literally less than a one minute walk to the main center this one is uh, uh, you know what this one is you definitely know what this one is Let's take a look at this amazing property. So where we've just come from now, the main street, just at the end of this road, and the palazzo that we're looking at, or should I say the penthouse that we're looking at, is part of this building here. Absolutely stunning. So this is the, when we get in there, this is the entrance, entrance hall, and then the lounge and the dining area. The little bit of noise that you can hear coming from the piazza that you can see from this building, which is be basically behind here, is because Sulmona is getting ready for one of the main festivals that they have here, where they transform the whole piazza into a, well, they do medieval games, that kind of thing. This is a beautiful, beautiful area. The building is in fantastic condition. It's been, com been completely restored on the outside. Location is amazing. Superb. So we get to it just round this corner here. Let's go and have a look at this one. The main entrance to the, the shared part, if you like. Beautiful marble stairs and it's literally just one flight up just up to there and then you've got the, the entrance to the apartment that you'll see shortly so it's really easy to get to and also in here you have a really handy storage space which is a great size it's a little bit dark so you may not be able to see everything but it's at least three and a half meters in height, maybe more. You've actually got access from the outside as well, so that's really handy. Maybe for bikes and that kind of thing. Then you've got the boiler that all looks reasonably new. This system is no longer needed. Uh, this used to be a water system for if, the, if there was no water in the past um, during sort of drought times, but now that's completely resolved. Sulmona has water all the time. So there's no need for that system. What a great storage area. But just wait, just wait now. Wait while you see this one. This is luxurious and it's absolutely stunning beyond belief. Okay, so let's have a look in this one. You know something? 
how many times do I say I get excited about things? This one is to be really excited about. And as usual, we have some work going off outside because Sulmona, there's a huge festival coming soon, a little bit like the, the one that they have in, uh, in Siena with the, the horse race, the horse, medieval games. So they're, they're preparing the uh, piazza outside, which I'll show you shortly. So there's a, a little bit of noise with diggers and things like that, but there you go. Can't actually see the piazza from this level. But it's still a, a beautiful view. It's just over the top of these houses, but once we get upstairs, you can see the piazza. Look at the mountains as well. And it certainly is a warm day today. Anyway, I'm just excited to be in this place because this is just, this is stunning beyond belief. This is a real penthouse. So, we have storage room in here, which is handy for coats, things like that. Just love this hallway. Absolutely beautiful. Really nice high ceilings as well. Just wait while you see the rest. The floor is so nice. A mix of wood and marble. Now there's no electrics in here at the moment so it is a little bit dark in some spaces. But this they're using currently as a, as a living room. Again, all beautiful wood flooring. And you've got a little bit of a, a balcony out there. This really is, really is something special. Then we have a beautiful dining area with a fireplace. This is just so, you probably notice I am going quiet. <laughs> just absolutely. I'm lost for it. I don't even know what to say. Write in the comments. Tell me what you think. I'll show you up there shortly. The great thing about this room, so I'm going to have to open this window now because this is the most important part. But as I said, they are preparing for the huge festa, so there will be a little bit of noise. Look at that. How amazing is that? Looking right over the main piazza. It's a small balcony, but you can easily get a couple of chairs out there. What a view. What an incredible place. Windows, great condition, it's wood. But they are double glazed and there are fly screens and there's also shutters uh, on the outside as well. Let's continue down this corridor. The quality here is even the some of these uh, doors, the sliding doors, they're so such great quality. And the space on offer here is just well, it's just mind blowing. So we have a good sized kitchen, very good sized kitchen. Everything's in, in good order with a fridge at the end, a little bit of storage. Not much of a view out of here, but it's just the typical side streets. But the main, the main view is that over the uh, over the piazza. So great sized kitchen, and then we have a utility room. So washing machine, dryer, sink, and also a shower. 
That's the great thing about Italians. They, if you're going to have some sort of wet room, so some sort of room where it's have a utility or just a WC, they, they say, well, we should have the whole thing. Have a bathroom. Why not? This is one of uh, one, two, three, four bathrooms with potentially five beds. So we have a couple of steps up and we are now in the night area. So beautiful corridor, a little bit dark purely because there's no electric on but the rooms are not uh, dark at all. What a great, great first bedroom, which I suppose some people may say this is the master, but I would use a different one as the master because there's one with an ensuite on. But this is a brilliant size room with large wardrobes. These look like built-in wardrobes, really good size. And again, double doors, what a beautiful bedroom. Double doors and the views, again, a little bit like the kitchen. Sort of restricted, restricted views, but there's plenty of light. I would rather have the views in the area where you spend most of the time. Superb bedroom. And then we have a huge bathroom. With a full size bath and a shower. Double sink and lots of storage. <laughs> I am actually lost for work. I really love this place. This has to be one of the one, if not the best, I've seen here in Zulmona. Down the corridor, they've got lots of storage for, for books. And then we have another bedroom, which would easily get a double, double bed in and a unit. You will notice on the ceiling, there's some patches up here. They've had the roof repaired and the problem has now been sorted. They, uh, they just need to scrape off this and paint it. So it's, uh, it has been, has been resolved. And this again has double doors and it op opens out into a little piazza at the back, which is, uh, let's just see if I get these doors open, which is really nice. Just a typical, typical piazza. Beautiful. And then, go and see the others. And even this bedroom, we then go to what I would class as the uh, uh, as the master bedroom. The moment it's only got a single bed in, but it's plenty big enough for a, a master bed. I think I would put the bed on that side, the wardrobes on this side, on the left hand side it's a really good sized room there's also air conditioning and again looking out onto the same piazza as the other but the reason why i would use this as the uh as the main bedroom is because we have an ensuite. As I say, it is a little bit dark in here, so I'm not sure how much you're going to get of that. But there's shower, nice sink area, and then behind this door, bidet and toilet. And then, then there's even more. I'm just, I'm in awe of this place. I really am. So that's the main night area. So just to recap, 
have one bedroom and another two down there one ensuite and then the main bathroom and then this door separates the night area from day I'll just quick recap on everything kitchen utility that's also got the shower the beautiful dining area with those stunning views of the mountains and piazza the lounge area and then the stairs that lead down to that beautiful entrance now if you need more space then we have a small guest area as well up these steps so once again beautiful steps in wood and uh, marble they've done quite a clever job up here it is a little bit long because you're under the roof but you have storage with water up here as well oh no it's no sorry it's uh, a dryer by the looks of things then another storage area then we have a couple of bedrooms it's a little bit lower you've got so it is sort of under roof storage areas but they could easily be bedrooms as well this one may be a single Just show you through the skylight just look at that stunning and this room believe it or not also has a bathroom and a good size one full height as well and then we have have air conditioning unit and we have another good sized bedroom this could easily be a double put the double bed up against there again it has the, the skylight and another window looking out of the looking out of the back back part what a place what a place let's do the final thoughts on this one so the final thoughts incredible stunning 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 really it really is what an amazing place what a beautiful luxurious apartment location perfect space loads of space I just don't really know what else to say about this one it's just for a holiday home or for a home or for rental anything incredible it's just it's actually I am I am speechless absolutely beautiful this has got to be one if you're in the market for this type of place this has got to be uh, got to be a contender or somebody I can't imagine this one staying long on the market I'm going to keep this final thought quite short. I can hear some of you cheering <laughs> because it is just, uh, what else can I say? I think I've said everything on the video. Luxurious, amazing location. Sulmona, you all know what I think about Sulmona. Amazing. Okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so, so much for your support on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. And remember to join us every Thursday when we do our live streams live on YouTube and Facebook where we discuss the legal aspects of buying a property in Italy amongst many other things. And I'm going to leave you with a little bit of uh, road noise due to the uh, due to the festa preparations. But I'm going to leave you with this amazing view of the main piazza. Just don't miss this one. Please don't miss this one. <laughs>